2008 Nissan Versa Customer complaining about uh, clusters not working and uh, car dies out while driving They replaced the battery already and to my knowledge they replaced alternator twice in this car um, So the part of the cluster works and part of the cluster does not work as you can see the red light is blinking and Right now keys on nothing else is coming on um, Turn signals do come on and high beam does work as well but I'm gonna start the car I'll let you guys see see nothing's working fuel gauge is not working speedometer is not working what car is it stop um car's not moving that's why but uh rpm is not working but to my knowledge he did state that uh speedometer does not work either just to show you guys alternator is not charging well it is showing 13 point or 12.99 volts because I have the jumper on. So if I take the jumper off, to show you guys. See how voltage decreasing? So alternator is failing to charge. I do have a power going through the alternator. Just to verify it. Touch light light. So that's good. Now there are two wires that go into the alternator connector. One is green and one is light green. So light green should have power, which we do. The light should come on with the test light. And it does come on. But on the light green of it, on side of it, I do not get anything on that side, as you guys can see. So right now I'm sitting at 12.04. So again, um, let me turn my light on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bypass that light green wire with the test light and see if the alternator works. So it'll allow me to fulfill the alternator, and so that way I can see if alternator indeed working or not. So I have test light hooked up to positive. And let's see if we have good power. Yep, test light lights. As you can see, I'm down to 11.99. And as soon as I touch this, my alternator, my car should like chug down or chug down, and then alternator should start to charge battery. So here we go. There we go. See, my alternator is charging. So my alternator is good. So I'm gonna take this out. See how it rapidly is dropping down. So looking at the wiring diagram, I found out there's a fuse, fuse number three that goes under the fuse box right here. That's a fuse box for that Nissan. Um, so fuse number three seems to be missing. So when I put this fuse in, let's see where we at. hold on guys okay so fuse is back in let's see if I can get a good shot right there fuse third fuse was missing right there this is the fuse was missing from the car 10 amp fuse all right let's see what happens so key still out so we can put the key in key in dash lights up car starts and I'll show you guys that car does indeed charge there you go thought I'd make a video of it hopefully it helps someone out hopefully it helps someone else out there